we hit the slopes of Sweden for a precision training session with their national snowboard team. My name is Sven Torgren. I'm 21. I'm a Swedish snowboarder from, from Sweden, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Snowboarding to me, it's, uh, it's kind of been my life since I was around like seven or eight years old. Just started snowboarding every night after school. I got sponsored when I was 13 years old and then it's kind of been everything I've been thinking about since. The feeling when I snowboard, it's kind of like freedom to me. So you can pretty much decide whatever you want to do. And just find so many different things that you can get better on. I, I compete in slope style and big air and uh, slope style is uh, basically like usually three big jumps and, and also three rail features and you get judged by uh, your tricks and execution and uh, also like the variety of tricks so, and bigger is it's just one jump. Now goes backside 14 40. Oh, 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 oh. Perfect oh. there on that one. I spend a lot of time with, with Team Sweden and uh, it kind of almost doesn't feel like a national team because it's it's my best friends that I always know with otherwise. Un, deux et trois. I have very different guys to work with because uh, they come from different backgrounds. Uh, so you have to adjust your coaching for each individual. I don't feel like I'm the youngest because I'm more or less like the biggest, tallest and all that stuff. <laughs> It's always fun to snowboard with uh, people you've been luck looking up to. This is like perfect timing to have uh, now on the end, on the springtime, to have a good session on a really good jump, so we can work on the, on the hardest tricks. The snow gets really slushy, which is both good and bad. With a kicker, we need to rake all the slush away and put salt on to make it bind so that it gets firm. Now let's try it out. It's a good jump to just like practice new tricks. It's around 21 meters distance and uh, yeah, it's pretty poppy, so you could go pretty high and it's a steep landing, so it's always nice because you, if you fall, you'll still be like, yeah, falling smoothly. The wind is pretty important because like if it's windy uphill, it will stop you in the air pretty much and you'll end up short or not finishing your trick, so. The wind can be pretty annoying sometimes. It's good, it's, uh, it's a really good day. And everybody's kind of sending it, so it's super fun. It's always kind of hard to decide what kind of tricks you want to do on a contest. You always want to like be on the edge of the tricks that you're almost not comfortable with uh, to, to really get the best riding out of yourself. So sometimes you just gotta kind of risk it and uh, you just, try your hardest trick and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work but then you at least went like 100% into the contest. When you land a new trick you've been trying it's like a rush through your whole body and just, it just feels good. Sometimes when you're just riding with your homies and uh, he is doing a, a trick and I'm doing another trick and then you get oh maybe I can take that thing into my trick and do it a little bit more different, like nobody have been done it. The most important tool for me as a coach is a camera for video analyzing. Another day, another dollar. If I work with one athlete at the time, I can always do lots of follow cam runs. Uh, I go right behind them, and if the jump is comfortable enough for a coach like me, I can go with them in the jump, and uh, sometimes I have the whole team together. Here I stand pretty much on the knuckle of the landing where the landing starts so that I get to see the whole air time plus the landing. It's good like sometimes you learn a trick and then it's like you still don't really have it in your head so it helps to just watch the clip and see how you did it. Perfect run from Sven Thorgren putting it down on attempt number one. The X Games in Aspen is always a main goal for Sven and then every fourth year he, of course he wants to 
put down his best runs ever at the Olympics. My highlights was probably that Olympic year. I ended up fourth in the Olympics. Won a lot of contests that season, so that kind of boosted my career from being like a no-name rider to a known rider. I'm really hopeful for the next Olympics. We have several guys coming up that has chance, each one of them, I'd say, to go for medals.